I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn the concept of reciprocals. The question here is 1 divided by 3 is equal to what? To answer this question let us take one hole. Let us say this rectangle represents one hole and we need to divide by one third. So let us have this rectangle to represent one third. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to divide one whole by one third. So to do so we'll divide this one into three equal parts right and select one of them right. So select one of them so we get this much. Okay now the question is how many times Can one third go into one, right? So this hole, how many times can this go into one hole? So it seems that it can go three times, right? So it can go three times. It could be one time, two time, and three time. And therefore, the answer is one divided by one third is equal to three. Got it, right? Let's take another example. Let us say now we have 1 divided by 1 fourth, right? So in that case, again, with the same concept, if I make one hole and another one, same size rectangle, divide the second one into four parts, right? So that is my 1 fourth. Let me divide this also into four parts so that we can easily see our result. So if I shade one fourth of this, which is this much, and ask the question, how many times will one fourth go into one? We can say one, two, three, four times it can fit. And therefore, the answer is four. For that matter, one divided by, let us say one over seven, should be equal to 7 since 1 seventh can go 7 times in 1. So what do you see here? Whenever you divide 1 by a fraction, the answer is it's reciprocal. So what we learned here is when you divide 1 by a fraction, it results into reciprocal, right? Well, this is also true for whole numbers. That is to say, if you divide, if you divide 1 by 4, you get reciprocal of 4, which is 1 over 4. If you divide 1 by 7, you get reciprocal of 7. So it works also for the whole numbers. So what we are trying to say here is division of fractions is very similar to division of whole numbers. We are working with same concepts. Now from this example we also learn one more thing. 1 divided by 1 over 3 is 3. So we can also write this expression as as 1 divided by 1 over 3 is equals to 1 times 3, which is 3. Similarly, 1 divided by 1 over 4 is equal to 1 times 4, which is same as 4. And here, what we are trying to say is that to divide is same as invert and multiply. So that is another concept which we can look into for dividing fractions. So whenever we are dividing fractions, we can actually multiply by its reciprocal. So we can invert and multiply. 
so that can at times make the job simpler. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.